Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we have something a little bit special. Orca Warrior is the modder who created Heart of the Swarm Real Scale and is working on Legacy of the Void Real Scale, but in between those two, he made something a little bit interesting. This is the Hyperion Crew, Wings of Liberty. The basic idea behind it, from what I understand, I've been kept mostly in the dark about the details, is that... Well, Rainer's Raiders are supposed to be a bunch of elite people, right? And what if there were people that crewed all the vehicles? Like, why... Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics... Why is a unit just a unit? Why is there not a set amount of Hyperion crew that you have to keep alive and they can do various tasks in order to help you go through a Wings Liberty? That is basically what I understand. So I am interested in seeing exactly how all this works. I'm really excited because this looks like a pretty big step away from normal... Starcraft 2, but in a very cool direction. I don't know if this is going to drop anything else out. I don't think that there are edited cutscenes, but if there is one, it would be this one. All right, so what do we got? We got a Marine. Oh, yes, of course. So there's like an upgrade system, too. All right, so this is going to be very, very interesting. We have a uh, combat shield that we can upgrade individually for 20 marines on this marine, or 20 minerals. Laser targeting increases the vision and weapon range by one, and we can evacuate. Commander, so we have infantry crew members, and it looks like that the way that it works is if we, for example, found a marauder shell, we would be able to evacuate our marine suit with our crew member. This is now an unusable piece of thing, and we could send our crew member into that thing. Can we get Jim naked? No, we can't. Darn. I don't know how that's going to change the first mission, but I do know that it sounds really cool to me, and I'm very interested. I also know that, for example, vehicle crews are a thing, and there are going to be units with level-up systems in addition to individual upgrades. What's the plan? And I think that these upgrades may or may not last in between missions. I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to have Jim in the front. He's the tankiest. We're going to be very, very careful. But for example, yeah, what we... Oh. Yeah. All right. So what we could do is we're not going to have Jim in the front for the next fight. Instead, we're going to have one of the Marines in the front. And we have these two infantry crew suits. So we're going to fight, one of them's going to get damaged, and then we're going to abandon our damaged marine crew suit and bring the crew over to here. Also, these suits are light and mechanical, so theoretically the they should be repairable by SCVs later on. This is really cool. I like this a lot. This uh, completely changes the way that you want to play this game tactically. So this guy took a bunch of damage, and then we just pop him out. And he's really slow. I probably should have walked him in a marine suit. Break it down. But we're just going to leave this one. So if I hit quick load crew, load the nearest appropriate crew member. Let's see what the range on this is. Does it hit a guy from over here? No, it doesn't. It's pretty close range for the quick load. What's the plan? Got it. And then here's some money. Okay. My neighbors. My family. So we're going to upgrade our individual suits with combat shields. 20 minerals apiece. I think that he wants us to just burn all of our money on that because we have five marines. That makes sense to me. So we're going to buy those combat shields and now we have a stronger individual infantry. I'm going to put Jim in the front for this next fight. This is starting to look ugly. And we're going to try our best to utilize this 10 HP. So this is going to be a fight where we're going to take a lot of damage, I think. Pull some of the guys out and try not to lose anything here. What I'm really hoping is that things like ghosts will be able to snipe drivers and then we can steal enemy vehicles. That would be so cool. All right, so you... Oh, no, what we want you to do is run all the way over here and then... You're going to evacuate. And you can shift What's cue it. That's really good. You can count on me. I see a little thing over here. Oh, it's just this guy. He's the white indicator. Break it down. And I Raiders guess we're gonna keep roll. going as that guy is Sound. replacing his suit and getting into a new one. I'm gonna do all the bonus me. objectives because I don't know if there's me. some reward Top for them. Up. Yeah, look, there's some money over here Sounds so we like can get more combat shields. I like it. What's the plan? I don't know if the hollow boards themselves will matter too much. 
What's up? And a Time little bit down. more. Break it down. This really does What's help up? capture the feel Sounds of like Raiders Talks Raiders in a cool way. Now what I'm going to do oh, is ready. I'm going to, on my guys without combat ready. shields, I will get the... Actually, I guess we have enough for everybody to get laser targeting this systems. That's going to be two vision and Sell one me. range for all of my marines, except Raiders for Jim. And theoretically, that means that Jim down. can do some better tanking What's now. Up? Time to man up. Raiders roll. So let's move forward. Oh, You're these are empty suits. <laughs> 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 so I'm an idiot. This is bad. Ooh, okay. Uh, theoretically, I should not have spent money on that to upgrade this guy with laser targeting, but we got a fire bat suit. I just got excited about a fire bat. We can get juggernaut plating and grants fire bat four damage to biological, combined for a total of eight versus lighter biological. All right, let's give this a go. Break it down. What's the plan? And yeah, from what I understand, you want to keep your units alive because these crew members are not super super accessible What's it's not plan? like you can just build Sounds a huge like amount plan. of crew every mission and go you crew stuff it's me. very important to keep them alive Finally. What's the plan? Sell me. so Time to man up. start rat tat tatting these guys down be very careful with the fire bat and then it's you can evacuate your suit commander. and head into this one Talk to me. Jim, you're not feeling Raiders. great, but we got the fire bat in the front. Say the word. And hopefully Break we can down. find a little bit more cash on the map. Time to man up. And move Raiders forward. Roll. It does look like the fire bat it's is awesome. running out of durability now, so I'm probably going to grab Thank a new you, suit for him. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I am really surprised at how well I'll this just... Them. Commander. Why can't... Oh, do I have to kill this hollowboard? Ah, got it. What's I didn't know the suit. Sell me. It's just, it's pretty clean. Break it micros down. very well. It's an intuitive system. Me. I like it so far. Marshall Rayner. Been a while since we saw you around here. Just hoping for a bit We're more cash. You, well, we got two more fire bat suits. You gonna get I mean, all right. Up and good to go. Get them in the front. I am What's very up? scared about their survivability. Ready to fry. Fight fire. Break it but down. we'll give it a go. I kind of want the civilians in the front because they're not my crew members. My crew feels even more important now. Are we got your back, no! No! Oh! Brutal! <laughs> Alright, get this guy out. You head on over here and... Make sure the Vikings are targeting dumb stuff. Not me, though. I'm not dumb. I promise. So we did lose a couple crew members at the end, unfortunately. However, we did pretty good overall. This is such a neat system. Firebat's still a liability, though. <laughs> Yay. All right, let's do mission two. I am, I'm pretty excited about this one. I'll be honest, when he was uh, describing it to me, I was like, this is a really interesting system, but it seems very Thanks clunky. That's rations. what I was thinking. But now that I actually see the physical output, I'm like, wow, the implementation real solid here so far. So now we get to see how training units works. You guys mining. Store crew in stru- Oh, we can store our crew members into structures. We'll need a lot more Marines. And we only have these guys. So I think, oh no. Extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Yeah, we don't have very Train many crew members. Me how do shoot. I how do I get them into here? SCV ready. Oh, I need Science support crew. Responded. Okay, there's different types mm -hmm. of crew. This at best be important. I see. SCV ready. I need to make sure you got and look, they automatically get in. And it automatically starts mining. Need? Cool. I'm going to lift this barracks and bring it over here as a bit of a defense thing, and I want medics really quickly. If I'm working with this few crew members, then medics are going to be very important. So for the support crew, that means that I'm not going to be able to switch them into, like, marine suits later or SC... You know what I mean? SCVs or SCVs. SCV ready. 
it might be that support suits are shared, for example, with things like... What are those called? Oh, I'm blanking. Uh, science vessels. Let's load these guys into here for now. Store su Okay. I gotta individually click here. Or can I just... Got it. Tech Lab is going on, and theoretically these soldiers should be very, very well built, right? They're going to be super strong in the later stages. I assume the medics are going to have upgrades as well. And maybe at this rebel base there's going to be more, so we have to tactically figure out how many guys we want, and then where we're going to bring them. I'm a little afraid of the attack wave that will eventually be hitting us. Hopefully, this medic is going to be able to... Oh, I need to stop building SCVs. It's so... It's such a habit. Ah, no. Oh, messed up. Oh, big losses there. Ah, I was too scared with the medic to send him forward. I really should have sent him forward faster. I just... I don't know what the target priorities are. Oh. Are these support crew? Okay. Yes. So support crew, support crew. Oh, I just had an idea. Commander. That guy's voice lines are really loud. The doctor is in. And then support crew. So I guess that's going to be this it for medics. By. Medics gain 50 shields that regenerate after the medic has fully recharged energy, heal speed, and energy regeneration increase. Definitely want that one. You rang. So let's make some super medics. Where does it hurt? And then start working on Marines. You gonna get this better be good. Get everything ready. Maybe I could have used an extra barracks. In the rear with the gear. Cause I have a bit of crew over here. Oh wait! Did this guy pop out? Did it take one of the crew from in here? No, it didn't, okay. That would be a little too convenient. So we're gonna combat shield these guys up, get them laser targeting systems as well. And we can build exactly five more marines. Which, now my barracks is too late, but what you gonna do? You want a piece of me, boy? And then we'll be able to go. I'm really scared about these guys getting targeted down. The 50 shields it only regenerates when they have full energy is pretty rough. Because I'm just not gonna have full energy very often. Hmm. I'm really interested to see what the new armory and laboratory upgrades are, because I know there's a whole suite of them, and hopefully sweet is what they are. I may have already lost, though. Just thinking about this, I have dropped off so many units in that early stage because I was afraid. Outstanding. Oh, pull back. Oh, we crushed through. Easy peasy. Feeling good here. Laser targeting, get this up. And... I think we're good. Nano injectors. Let's go adventuring. And I guess what I want to do now is start building a decent number of medics and replacing my SCVs with them. Which is what I'm doing. This is going to be a hard fight. I just had an idea. Science department responding. I guess we could. So it's very expensive to get these medics up and rolling. Do I wait for another attack wave? Because I cannot be risky with these units. Are you critical? I think that I'm going to avoid the shield on some of these for now and just focus on stabilizer med packs because then they can heal each other. We're going to poke this way and see what there is. It's just money. I don't need money. I need victory. Slowly move forward. Now we have vision of what's going on. We can pick off this force. The healing is insanely good. Oh, it's real strong. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Each other. Rebel scum. 
pay attention to who's getting tar oh yeah, they are target firing pretty well I lost a little bit there not ideal but not the end of the world either because we're gonna get a bunch of people on this side it's a shame they're not crew members they're civilians and I guess it's time to go Dominion can go to hell the man. These little attacks are it's nothing. Raiders, boys. Now we can get the nanobot Wait. injector shield. Keep getting some medics. We're going to give this a save because I'm a little bit scared, but I feel like my army is pretty good. The only thing that's really, really intimidating is going to be the tanks. Warning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Oh. <laughs> the doctor is in. The plus bonus range on these Marines is insane. Real, real powerful. Plus bonus range, nailed it. Sorry, I never checked the refinery to see if there's anything there. There's not. What's going on? Pop these guys off, and then. What is it you need? Boom, boom. Right. This better be good. And bunker of death time. We can't outrange the bunker of death, can we? Oh, 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 oh no! We cannot. Yes. Where does it hurt? Maybe I want medics in the front. Standing by. And then we'll try to pull back whoever is damaged. Oh, this is stressful. Okay. Let's go. You rang. Oh no, aliens! That's a serious outbreak. Please state the nature of your. Well, I did lose a bit there. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. And we're gonna split Between your and split. And my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. Very careful of the AoE, just pay attention to who they're burning. There's a lot of Hellions here. Jeez. Take these down. And then I'm gonna move over to the barracks and start taking them out and be very careful of the side because I'm afraid of potential tankery. I think I just lost a guy. If the SCVs are down and the barracks are down, we are going to mostly be okay. Because we have these shields on the medics, they should be able to soak a tank hit or two. And then we can try to get into position with that. Just split all the medics up. Please state the nature of standing by. Where does it hurt? Something like that. But we don't want the damaged medics. We want the ones with decent shields. Oh, Goliaths. Interesting. Maybe there is no tank. There probably is. But this factory is producing, so we got to be very careful. Oh, there's no tank. They got rid of it, probably because it was punishingly disgusting. <laughs> I can't imagine a world where that tank did not end a bunch of runs because it does 60 damage to 55 HP Marines. Or maybe it's 55 damage, I don't remember. Either way, it'd be a one-shot kill. Well, at least I was safe. Better safe than sorry, right? This is a really cool mod. I like this a lot. I am... If you guys are interested, I'm going to give this a full playthrough, and if you're not interested... I don't know, go watch someone else, because I'm probably going to give this a full playthrough. I think it's really fascinating. And I am very, very excited to see how it completely just mixes things up. And of course, this is going to be available on the Custom Campaign Manager after it's all tested and ready. Really, really cool stuff. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of... What is this called? The Hyperion Crew? I lost four units. What a waste! And as you can see... The number of units that we have surviving matters, and they're going to keep track of it, which is just exciting to me. I lost four whole guys, and I feel terrible about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.